Testing. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another week of solo raids. We're a day late this week because of Memorial Day. They switched my night shift to a day shift, so I had to record a day later. But we're here. We're ready to get it started. Hope you're all ready. Uh, for anyone who's new, who's never done this before, I go through each portal one at a time. You watch what I do. After I've done the portal, then you pause the video and do the portal yourself, knowing all the information that you need to to finish it as fast as possible. Uh, before you start, go to your settings, uh, go to your raid retry and turn it off, and we're ready to go. Alright, we're not skipping. We're doing our first portal, and for our first portal we've got Tactar. Our decks are Moonbeam, Acid Spell. Drench and Blazing Inferno. Going with Moonbeam. Take down these body parts nice and fast. There we go. Man, most people just skip these first uh, 40 Titans, first, first 39 Titans, but for those of you who those of you who want to get that top 200 badge, and maybe even some of you are trying to get that, you know, that best badge. It's, it's worth it. Alright, so our second uh, Titan is Tactar, and I'm going with our Moonbeam deck again. Taking down those limbs, torso, and head, and we're good. Awesome. Next portal. I like the, the portal skip. It's great. We got a Juck. Our decks are Swarm, Grim, and Radioactivity. I'm going to go Swarm. And uh doesn't matter where we attack because Juck doesn't have any armor. None of these first Titans have any armor. So as long as we get their HP down to zero, it's fine. Alright. Next portal, portal four. Or sorry, portal what is this? Portal four, yeah. We got Psychic Chain, we got Razor Wind, and we got Skull Bash. I'm going with Razor Wind. Attack every single part of his body with a damage buff. There we go. Uh huh. Easy. Good, good. Move on to Portal 5. We got a Low Jack. We got Moonbeam, Psychic Chain, a Limb Deck, and a Thriving Plague with Gas. We're going with we're going with Deck 4, Thriving Plague with Gas on Low Jack, especially since it's a a Cycle Titan. It's just real easy to hit all those parts and kill them nice and quick. Look at that, five seconds. That worked out real good. We can move on to the next one. Portal 6, we got Tarot. We got Inspiring Force with Swarm, Purifying Blast with Drench, Clanship Barrage with Razorwind, and Swarm with Whip. I'm going with Inspiring Force and Swarm. Love having that support card to give that damage multiplier. It just works so much nicer. Yep, four second takedown. So quick. Alright, we can move on to Portal 7. We've got a Juck. For our decks, we got Fuse with Inspiring Force. We got Swarm with Whip. We got Haymay or sorry, Skull Bash with Totem. And we've got Whip with Decaying Strike. Huh. Well, I guess Fuse with Inspiring Force is probably our best one. That's what I'll go with. Let's see how it works. And go ahead and attack every part. Maybe it'll maybe it'll die before we get around to it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's actually pretty quick. I like it. Good. Move on to portal eight. We got a sterile. We got fuse with inspiring force. We got swarm with inspiring force. We got torso focus and we got thriving plague with blazing inferno. I'm going with swarm with inspiring force. I just think it works better. Right, get some damage down on that torso. And everywhere else. Got it. Six second takedown. Moving on to Portal 9. We have a low jack. Our decks are Ancestral Favor with Razor Wind, Victor March with Moonbeam, Victor March with Skull Bash, and Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno. I'm going with Ancestral Favor with Razor Wind. I feel like is our best bet here. I like that neutral buff on both cards. 
You don't have to worry about which part you're going to get good damage on. You just take them all down, one at a time. And moving on to Portal 10, we've got some armor now. It's sterile. And our decks are Ancestral Favor with Razor Wind. We've got Moonbeam with Victory March. We've got an armor-focused deck. We've got Thriving Plague with Gas. And we've got Razor Wind with Prismatic Rift. Huh. I think I'll go with... Uh, I think probably our safest bet would be to go to Ancestral Favor with Razorwind because the majority of the damage is going to need to go on his torso. This little tiny chunks, these little tiny chunks will go down fast, but the torso is going to take the longest, so we want that Razorwind Ancestral Favor combo to go on that. And we'll do the the burst target, which is hand, leg, head, torso. Come on, let me get some bursts. There we go, seven second takedown. Not bad. We can move on to Portal 11. We've got a low jack. Our decks are Fuse with Inspiring Force, Swarm with Inspiring Force, Torso Focus, Victor March with Haymaker, and Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno. I want the support card, but it doesn't look like... <clears throat> I better go with... Hmm. So I think Deck 2 is probably my favorite. Deck one's probably fine. I don't like deck three. I don't like deck four because you got to wait for Victory March to get ramped up, and then Haymaker also. It takes forever to proc. And deck five doesn't even have a support card, so we're going deck two. You just have to chew through that armor with the swarm space damage. Shouldn't take too long. Come on, baby. There we go. Well, took longer than any other Titan we've done so far, but we've still got it. Moving on to Portal 12. We've got another Sterile, and we got Gas with Grim. We've got Victory March with Haymaker. We've got Razor Run with Riz Prismatic Rift. We've got Gas with Blazing Inferno, and we got Head Focus. Yikes. That's no good. I think. Wow. That's ugly. Yeah, that is ugly. <clears throat> so my gut tells me we want to go with... Man, these decks are awful. My gut tells me I want to go with Grim with Gas, but there's also a good case to be made for deck number two, because you could take down those hands pretty quick with just the tap damage, and then you would have uh, some more Victory March ramp up and then the head, and then the torso. Ugh, what a mess. Alright, let's try it. Victor March with Haymaker. We'll see what happens. Goodness, what an awful option. Let's just watch that damage. Okay, only 4,000. We don't want to do that again. We get that burst on the torso. There we go. Oh, no, we want the head. We want this arm for sure. There we go. We take down the arm, the torso too. There we go. Come on, baby. 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 Yes, it worked. <laughs> oh, that was so close. That's nuts, man. That was those are such bad decks, deck options. I wonder why they did that. They really want to make sure you do two decks on that one. So good luck with that. <laughs> it's possible with deck with the uh, Victory March Haymaker deck, but oh my goodness. That's nuts. All right, let's move on. We got a Mohaka for our... This is Portal 13. And we got Fuse with Gas. We've got Swarm with Whip. Uh, Ancestral Favor with uh, Fragmentize. We've got Radioactivity with Prismatic Rift. And we've got Gas with Blazing Inferno. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't like this one either. <laughs> I probably... No, this doesn't do it. If you have one piece left, there's no way to do any damage because this doesn't amplify your tap damage at all. And no support card on this one either, so that's pretty much garbage. It's going to have to be three or five. My guess is three. 
All right, so we're going three. Take down these arms and the legs. Come on, do some damage. Better transitions, Joe. Better transitions. Transitions. I've been awake for a long time. You'll have to excuse my lisping and stuttering. <clears throat> like I said, I worked morning shift today. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. and it is now 11.35. So yeah, real fun. Next portal, 14, we got another Mohaka. Our decks are Ancestral Favor, sorry, Clinship Barrage, Razor Wind. We've got Ancestral Favor with Fragmentize again. We got Radioactivity with Prismatic Rift, Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno, and Whip with Decaying Strike. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be two again. Same deck, Ancestral Favor with Fragmentize. Just basically the exact same thing. Take down those limb pieces. Try to get decent transitions better than I am. There we go. Oh man. Would be helpful if the bursts would proc. There we go. 20 seconds is not great for this low, but it's still better than having to do two decks and adding those extra seconds on while you're going between decks. Let's look at our next deck, or our next Titan is sterile. Our decks are Ancestral Favor with Razor Wind. That's a good one. Uh, Radioactivity with Prismatic Rift. We've got Psychic Chain with Totem. Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and Flak. Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and Razor Wind. And we've got Victor March with Grim. Mm, either four or five is going to be our best bet. I'm going to go with four. I do like Flak. I think that's going to be my fifth deck. Our, our clan is uh, currently on raid 59 and then after we finish 59 we'll do 60 and then we'll be to tier 4 raids and I think my fifth deck is going to be Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Raj, and Flak because I do use it and it was one of my main decks back before they uh, upgraded all of the other cards and balanced them a little better but um, yeah it's going to be my fifth deck. Alright so this is portal number 16 we've got a Tactar. our decks are Gas, Maelstrom, and Swarm. We got Body Focus with Grim. Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, and Flak. Same thing with Psychic Chain. We got Purifying Blast with Body Focus, and we've got All Armor Focus. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, and Flak. Take down the armor and let Flak take down the body. It's a sound, a solid, foolproof uh, plan. It, it almost takes it down too fast, you know what I mean? By the time you kill one part, it, the flax already finished off the bot, or by the time you finish off the armor, flax already finished off the body from the previous part. All right, now uh, this is Portal 17. Our decks are Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, and Flak first. I mean, the same thing with Razor Wind. Same thing with Skull Bash. We got an Arm Focus, or sorry, Limb Focus, Thriving Plague with Limb Focus, and Thriving Plague General Deck. I uh, think same thing. I'm going to do deck number one. Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and Flak. Same idea. Just take down that armor. Let Flak do the work on the body. Come on. Yeah. Nice. 13 seconds. I think that might have been better than the last one. I'll have to go back and check later, though. Good. Now we can move on to 18. We got a tarot. No info yet, sorry. Our decks are Ancestral Favor with Torso Focus, Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and Psychic Chain. We got uh, Armor with Limb Focus. We've got Head Focus with Haymaker, uh, Ancestral Favor with Head Focus, and we got Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. Yeah, I'm going to go with deck two. Um, Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and any burst card is a good deck. Just because. Uh, just because Psychic Chain isn't going to get primo damage on any other part doesn't mean it's not going to do its main job, which is to help ramp up Clanship Barrage. There we go. 13 second takedown. We're good. I'm going to be taking sips of coffee throughout this video. <laughs> Hope you guys can excuse me. I'm trying to stay awake here. Nice. All right, Portal 19. We've got another Tactar. Our decks are Gas, Maelstrom, and Swarm, Ancestral Favor, Clinship, Barrage, and Flak. we got Armor with Limb, 
Ancestral Favor Clinch Barrage and Fragmentize, a pure armor deck, and Totem with Purifying Glass. Yeah, this is going to be another same old, same old. With one of my favorite decks for solo raids. It's just so dependable in solo raids. What can I say? Like, it doesn't do as much damage in your main raids with your clan. But the thing about it is, in solo raids, it's, it's just one of the most dependable decks. I've never seen anybody do the potential damage that they can with their decks in solo raids. Because, like, people in my clan get uh, 12 million plus hits with their Purifying Blast decks. But you, it's impossible to do that in solo raids. So just go with the deck that's going to be the most dependable. All right, so for Portal 20, we got some information. Our 80% uh, Affliction chance. So our ch uh, Afflictions are debuff. We got Attack Dar as our Titan. For our decks, we got Body with Grim, Armor with Limb, another Armor with Limb, Clanship Barrage, Victory March, and Razor Wind. We've got a Limb Focus, focus with Decaying Strike, Thriving Plague, Blazing Inferno, and Gas, and we've got Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. It was Affliction debuff, right? Yeah. Okay, so Chance. Hmm. So we want a good Bursty deck. Oh. Yeah. And probably our best bet here is going to be... This is a... Man, two-decker on 20. That's really sad. No, you know what? I think... Uh, I think our best bet is six. Even with the Affliction debuff, I think we can still kill it. So that's what we're going to do. Deck six. And get those stacks done on the torso and the head. Uh, Blazing Inferno will stay on once it gets on. Because uh, its uh, passive ability gives it more chance. Thriving Plague is our problem, though. It's got to stay on there. Or else it won't get its damage done. There we go. We got it. I wasn't too hard. That was a lot easier than I thought it was. Sometimes I overthink things because I see the Titan and I see the decks and I'm thinking, wow, this isn't going to work. But, you know, you just got to trust in the power of your decks. Trust in the heart of the cards. <laughs> All right. So for Portal 21, we've got a Tarot. We've got Fusion Bomb, Gas, and Swarm. We've got Fusion Bomb, Prismatic Rift, and Swarm. Gas, Maelstrom, Swarm. Ancestral Favor, Clinch, of Browse, and Flak. We've got Armor with Limb. Another armor with limb, and we got victory march with haymaker. I'm going with four. You all knew it. Take down the leg, head, torso. Finish off the head body, and then the torso body, and we're on to the next portal. 11 seconds. That's how we do it. Okay, moving on to portal 22. We've got a low jack. Our info is all affliction chance 80%. Uh, let's look at our decks. We've got fuse with gas and swarm. We've got fuse with prismatic rift and swarm. Wait, what was it again? Affliction chance 80%. Okay. And we've got armor with limb, another armor with limb, victory march with grim shadow, uh, pure armor deck, and totem with, with uh, purifying blast. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a this is gonna be a deck one. It's possible with deck seven, but that's a lot of transitions to make with those fairies. And I know they're coming a lot better than they used to, but <clears throat> I just don't see it happening. I'm gonna go with deck one. Go with de go with deck one and make sure that those stacks definitely get on the torso and head before we leave, and then just kind of there we go. Come on, I was, could have sworn I got a freaking, oh gosh. All right, so we got to just take it down with Swarm. There's no way Fuse is going off. I, we do more damage with the tap damage and Swarm than just waiting for Fuse to go off. There we go. Not bad. Moving on to 23. We got a Tactar. Our info is 25% increase to Affliction damage. Nice. Let's look at our decks. We got Fuse, Swarm, and s Gas. Fuse, Prismatic, Rift, and Swarm. We've got Armor with Limb. We've got Torso with Totem. A Limb with Grin uh, Decaying Strike. We've got Limb Focus with Thriving Plague. And we've got an All uh, Thriving Plague, Blazing Inferno, and Gas. 
So one or seven are my best bets here. I'm going to go seven because I tend to like the dependability of Thriving Plague over the, uh, <clears throat> I would say, arguably less dependable Fus Fusion Bomb. Don't get me wrong. Fusion Bomb is one of my main decks when I do uh, raids with my clan. I use it with Void and Swarm, and it does amazing damage. But in solo raids, it's just not... It's just not what I want to use. I do like the damage that Thriving Plague has. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Moving on to 24. We've got another Tactar. Uh, we've got 20 or 50% increased torso health. Okay, so if we've got a good, a good uh, uh, burst deck, we might be able to get away with doing less parts. All right, so we got Fuse, Rift, and Swarm, Ancestral Favor, Clanship Barrage, and Moonbeam, that's a good one. Uh, and same thing with Fragmentize. Victory March with Grim Shadows. Purifying Blast with Totem. Uh, we've got Victory March, Haymaker, and Inspiring Force. And we've got Thriving Plague with Limb Focus. Yeah, I think this is probably... <clears throat> I think this is probably going to be uh, Ancestral Favor, Clanship Barrage, Moonbeam. We'll take down the Torso first. And we might not have to do a whole side. I'm sitting here thinking about it. Half of the torso, I believe, is a whole side. Maybe most of a side. Guess we'll find out. Do a leg, a hand, another shoulder. Yeah, a whole side. Skip a whole side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's move on to 25. We got sterile. Our info is 15% increase to all raid damage. Good. Our decks are body focus with grim. We got armor focus with limb. We got purifying glass with body focus. Another armor with limb. We've got a full armor deck. A limb deck with decaying strike and uh, whip with blazing inferno and prismatic rift. Yikes. These are not great for sterile. All right, let's. Let's chew through this armor with deck three. I think it's possible. And our, my support card's really weak, but I feel like it's still possible. There we go. Come on, if you're purifying blast, you're supposed to be a lot more dependable now. They upped your game hive, upped your damage proc. You should be, come on. Yes, okay, there we go. It should die pretty quick now. Nice, okay. Yep, just got to chew through that armor. The 20% or was it 15? The 15% increase to da all damage helped. All right, we can move on to Portal 26 now. We've got Mohaka. Our info is 15% decrease to affliction damage. That's not too bad. All right, so we got Ancestral Favor, Clinship Barrage, and Flak. Ancestral Favor, Torso Focus. Victory March with Grim Shadow. Victory March, Clanship Barrage, Razor Wind. Torso Focus with Totem. Victory March with Haymaker and Inspiring Force. And we've got Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. You already know what I'm going for. We're going, starting at the shoulder, taking down all those little dinky uh, armors from the limbs and letting Flak do the work on the body. Wow. Looks like Flak's not going to be doing enough work this time. Shouldn't be too hard to finish it off, though. We'll just come behind and wipe them out. No problem. Going in for another sip of coffee. All right. Next portal, 27. Uh, our inf it's a Mohaka. Our info is 25% uh, increase to head damage. All right, nice. That's the biggest part of Mohaka, so... I believe. Yeah, it's one of the biggest parts, of, single parts on Mahaka. So we got Fuse with Prismatic Rift and Swarm. We got Ancestral Favor with Torso Focus. Ancestral Favor, Clanship Barrage, and Psychic Chain. That's a good one. Ancestral Favor, Clanship Barrage, and Razor Wind. Not bad also. Head Focus with Haymaker. Victory March, Clanship Barrage, Razor Wind. Thriving Plague with Limb Focus. I think I'm going with three. Basically, everything on Mohaka is limbs except for the head, and we already have a head damage increase. And by the time we get to head, it's going to be ramped up clanship barrage so high that it won't matter. We want that psychic chain to do that bonus damage to all the parts that we hit. 
with the exception of head. Beautiful. Moving on, we can switch to 28. Uh, we've got a tarot. Our info is 50% leg armor health increase. That's not good. We do not like that. Uh, we got fusion bomb with gas and swarm, fusion bomb with prismatic rift and swarm, ancestral favorite clinch of Brazil flak, a good one. Uh, purifying blast with body focus. We got ancestral favorite clinch at barrage and fragmentize, limb with armor, and we've got victory march with grip. I'm going with deck three. Who could have predicted? All right, so we're just going to stay away from the leg. We don't have to touch the leg. We can just go with a hand, a shoulder, a head, and torso. Back to head. Back to torso. There we go. Not too bad. And moving on to 29 now. For 29, we've got low jack. Our, we've got a buff, 25% increase to all burst damage. That's good. Our decks are fusion bomb with gas and swarm. We got radioactivity with gas and swarm. Fusion bomb with prismatic rift and swarm. Gas with maelstrom and swarm. We got a lot of affliction decks for a burst buff. Uh, we've got armor focus with limb. We got purifying blast with totem, and we've got whip with blazing inferno and prismatic rift. Yeah, not a great, not a great set of options, but I think hmm, I think we do the best damage with I think we do the best damage with deck one. I don't see us beating it in one deck this time, guys, but we'll give it our best shot. Torso, come on, there we go. Make sure those get down there. Come on. Oops, that was dumb. Oh, come on. One, two, three. One, two, one. Nope, this ain't happening. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. If I hadn't fumbled that the last two transitions, we would have had it for sure. But I fumbled them hard with 114,000 left. That's sad. So let's just take it down with Purifying Blast Totem. I don't even think uh, I don't even think Purifying Blast will go off. Oh yeah, I will. Look at that. What I meant was we wouldn't even need a Totem Fairy. There we go. All right. So moving on to 30. We've got some double info now. 25% increase to burst chance and 15% decrease to affliction damage. And on Tarot, our decks are Gas with Maelstrom and Swarm. This is burst chance is what's up. Okay. And then we've got Blazing Inferno, Swarm and Gas. We've got Ancestral Favor, Clinch of Barrage, and Skull Bash. That's not bad. We've got uh, Head Focus with Haymaker. We've got All Armor Focus, Victor March Haymaker. Uh, whip with Blazing Inferno and Rift. Going with three. Three because we can just take down the head, the body, or sorry, the head, the torso, and the leg, and we're fine. And we start out with that nice juicy buff damage on the head, and by the time we move down to the torso, we've already got Clinch of Barrage nice and ramped up. And the leg will literally take next to no time to beat. Got it. All right, moving on to portal number 31. We've got another low jack. Our info is 10% increase to support effects and 15% decrease to burst damage. That's all right. All right, so our decks are Ancestral Favor, Clinch of Barrage, Skull Bash, Victory March, Grim, Torso with Totem, Purifying Blast with Totem, uh, Ancestral Favor with Head Focus, Limb Focus with Decaying Strike, Victory March with Haymaker, and Thriving Plague with Arm. Um, I wish we had a good cycle deck for low jack. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I think this is going to be a two decker. So we're just going to go deck eight, take down all the limb parts that we can, and try to help focus down 
the torso and the head too as much as possible unfortunately come on stack it up stack it up buddy let's go all right there we go got that armor down can we get the head nice <laughs> that's pretty cool so we've got like 70,000 left 70,000 left on the torso we almost had that that's pretty close maybe if I had started out on the torso instead of starting out shifting across the limbs I might have done it but you know like I said before hindsight's 2020 I'll go at three three is probably gonna be a little bit faster I I think just one or two bursts will get this or yeah three bursts four bursts whatever it was <laughs> Fairies didn't even get a chance to get there. It would have taken Purifying Blast quite a bit longer. All right, moving on to Portal 32. We've got Attack Dar. Our info is three seconds added onto the raid and 15% decrease to affliction damage. Our decks are Head Focus with Haymaker, Victory March with Grim, Victory March Clinch at Barrage Razor Wind, Armor Focus, Purifying Blast with Totem, Limb Focus. Victory March with Haymaker, and Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno and Gas. What was it again? Affliction Damage Decrease. Uh, I think 8's our best bet. Yeah, 8's our best bet. If we can't finish it off with 8, we just finish it off with one of the Victory March decks. Uh, they're being kind of mean with their decks this week. We don't have very many good options here. Come on. I want to see that damage spread out good. Got that armor down. Good. Yeah. No way. Do we kill this in one hit? I think we do. <laughs> we do. Nice. I love it. I love it. Even with the de affliction, uh, affliction debuff. That's pretty cool. All right. Now for our Portal 33, we've got a Juck, 25% increase to Affliction Damage and 50% Head Health Increase. Alright, I see you Juck. Let's look at our decks. We've got Fuse with Gas and Swarm. We've got Body Focus with Grim. Ancestor Favorite Clinch of Barrage Flak. Armor with Limb. we got Purifying Blast with Body Focus. Head Focus with Haymaker. All, all Armor Focus and Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. I think I think I'm gonna go with uh, deck three. Was it burst? Affliction damage, head health. Okay, so we do have more affliction damage, but I feel like this deck is my stronger deck. Let me go with that one. Take down the head first. Just, oh no no no, we want to get the limbs first. Sorry. Got got to get Flak to do that work. There we go. I think we leave those two arms. not positive about that but that's the feeling I get wow we could have left the leg for goodness sake all right that's fine all right moving on to portal 34 we've got sterile 25% uh, increased burst chance and 50% limb health increase okay and our decks are fused with swarm and gas we've got body with grim ancestral favor clinch of barrage and flak Ancestor Favor with Torso, Limb with Armor, and, uh, Victory March with Grim, All Armor Focus, and Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno. I'm going with uh, my favorite deck, Ancestral Favor, Clinch, and Barrage. All right, so we can just do Leg. Come on, Leg. Head. Torso. There we go. Finish off that head. Finish off the torso. And we are Gucci. All right, moving on to Portal 35. We've got Tactar. Our info is 15% increase to all raid damage and 50% torso health increase. Okay. And we've got Fuse with Gas and Swarm. Fuse with Prismatic Rift and Swarm. Uh, Clinship Barrage, Victory March, and Razor Win, All Armor Focus, Ancestral Favor with Head Focus, Limb with Decaying Strike, 
Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno and Gas, and Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. What was it again? All raid damage, torso, torso health. Okay. Um, we don't have any good burst decks, so we're going to go with deck 7. Deck 7, make sure we get that extra spicy damage on the torso and head. There we go. Nice. Come on, Thriving Plague. I need you to get on the head. You gotta talk to your cards or else they won't listen to you. Trust me, I know. Four, three, what in the world is this? All right, we got it. <clears throat> nice. All right, that's 35. I'm going in for another sip real quick. Oh. Next portal, 36. We got low jack. We got 40% increase in affliction chance and 50% head health. All right. Uh, ancestral favor with torso focus. We've got limb focus. Oh, sorry, armor focus with limb. Purifying blast with body. Uh, another armor arm, armor focus with limb. We've got purifying blast with totem. Uh, armor f limb focus with decaying strike. Victory march with haymaker. And thriving plague with limb focus. I think uh, those head damage, right? Head health and affliction chance. Okay. So I think uh, I think. Now, bear, me, bear with me on this one. I think deck five does it. I think the reason it does it is because we don't have to kill half of the limbs. We just got to get the head, torso, and one side of the limbs. Maybe not even the whole side. Whoops, I should have gone torso first. See all those fairies I missed. Such a shame. Stay here with me. You go over here. And one more. Come on. Somebody? Nope, we are not right on that one. We need one more limb. There we go. That's fine. It turned out all right. We got it. So you don't need one leg and one arm for low jack. Remember that. For this portal... What happened? Did I freeze up? It's kind of early to be freezing up, man. All right, well... That's weird. Fix... Fix your, uh, fix your graphics card issue and you still freeze up. I think it's Mimu, but I'd much rather use Mimu than Bluestacks because Bluestacks does such ugly uh, transitions. It takes like four or five seconds. Hopefully my, my recording doesn't break down. I hate when it does this. All right, there we go. Looks like my clan is already doing their... Thriving Plague, yeah, new Titan up. That's all right. I'll come back to it after I'm done with my solar raids. All right, here we go, 37. We got Juck. Our info is 25% increase to head damage and 20% decrease to torso damage. Easy to avoid. We just stay off the torso. Radioactivity Gas and Swarm. Body with Grim. Ancestral Favor Clinship Barrage and Skull Bash. We got Armor Focus with Limb, Ancestral Favor, Clinch of Barrage, and Fragmentize. We've got Limb Focus with Decaying Strike, Victory March Haymaker, and Thriving Plague with Limb. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, either three or five. We do have to kill all the armor. What's the info again? Head damage. Yeah, I think we're going to go three. Just for fun. We'll see how fast this head dies. Just stay off the torso and we'll be good. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, did not die fast. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Come on. Wow. Too many transitions. I, f I keep forgetting that the higher you get, the less transitions you want to have to deal with. <clears throat> there we go. Cutting it a little close, but we got it. Moving on to 38. We've got Tarot. Our info is 25% increase to affliction damage and 15% decrease to armor damage. Okay. Uh, we got Fuse with Gas and Swarm. Fuse with Prismatic Rift and Swarm. Ancestral Favor Clinship Barrage and Flak. Uh, gas with Acid and Swarm. Blazing Inferno with... Gas and Swarm, 
uh, armor with limb, purifying blast with body, and totem with torso focus. I'm going with deck three. You know it. I know it. Let's do it. Take down that leg. From the leg to the head. Then to the torso after head armor has gone. That was a good transition. Pretty proud of it. And then back to head after that's gone. Then to torso. There we go. Alright, we can move on to portal number 39. We've got another Juck, three seconds added onto a raid, and 50% arm armor health. Okay, so we got to chew through double armor on the arms. So we can just avoid the armor and go to head, torso, legs. Let's see what we got. Fuse with gas and swarm, ancestral favor, torso focus, uh, thriving plague with swarm and gas. We've got gas with acid and swarm, purifying blast with body focus, armor with limb focus. Head focus with Haymaker and all armor focus. Wow. Okay, so if we want to just take down the four parts, we're going to need... Hmm. What was the info again? Three seconds added on. We want to stay away from the arm armor if we can, but that might not be possible, especially... <clears throat> Better just go with deck three. I feel like that's probably our best bet. And we have to chew through a little extra armor, but I, I like it better than trying to not focus the arms and losing all that damage that you don't get from Thriving Plague and then all these other ones are either focused on just a single part or just a single piece of armor. So that's what I'm doing. Wait, hold on. The limb? What was the limb one? Haymaker. But it's only for armor. No, I don't like it. Yep. I'm going with uh, deck three. We'll go cycle. We will have to chew through that armor, but you know what? Should be all right. Make sure to focus those legs and the head too, because they will die quite a bit slower than the rest of the Titan. And you don't want to be caught with a huge, massive amount on the head and the legs at the end, because Thriving Plague loses damage the less parts you have afflicted. All right, moving on to 40. We've got another Juck. Our info is 25% increase to burst chance and 15% de decrease to burst damage. Look at our decks. Body with Grim, Body with Purifying Blast, Limb with Armor, Victory March with Grim, Clanch of Barrage, Victory March, and Razor Wind, uh, Torso with Totem, Thriving Plague with Limb, and Thriving Plague General. What was it again? Burst chance. And we didn't get a burst deck, did we? Uh, Victor March, but you don't want to start out with that. <clears throat> what was our debuff again? Burst damage. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to go ahead and go with deck 8. I feel like that's our best bet. Just hit the head and arms like we did before. Make sure that Thriving Plague gets down on the legs and the head too. Not necessarily a necessity on the arms, but at some point you do want them dying. Focus down those legs, too. Don't want them falling too far behind. Oh, boy. There we go. Whew, one second to spare. That was close. Went all right, though. The right side arms died pretty fast. It's okay. Portal 41, it's a Juck. Our info is 20% increase to all armor damage and 15% decrease to burst damage. All right, let's look at our decks. Fuse, Gas, Swarm. Fuse, Prism, and Swarm. Body focus with Purifying Blast. All armor focus. Torso with Totem. Limb focus to Decaying Strike. Uh, Thriving Plague, Blazing Inferno, Gas. And Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. All right, I think, uh, I think this is pretty clearly going to be a deck seven. And just do the same thing that we did last time. Get that head down and the legs too. And then just kind of go around. Oh, that's why the right side died so fast last time, because we took so long on it. We get those. 
Come on, head die. There we go. Now oh, we did even better that time. <clears throat> Moving on to Portal 42. We've got Tactar. Our info is 25% increase to head damage and 50% limb health increase. All right. Fuse with Gas and Swarm, Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, and Flak, Ancestral Favor, Torso Focus, Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, Fragmentize, Limb with Armor, Ancestral Favor with Head Focus, Limb Focus with Decaying Strike, and Thriving Plague with Pure, or sorry, Thriving Plague, Gas, and Blazing Inferno. Was it again? Head Damage Increase, Limb Health Increased. Hmm. Alright, well, that's unfortunate with the Limb Health. So... Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, it's going to be either two or eight. And we have to chew through that limb health no matter what, because, oh no, no, no. Since the head, fifty percent I think we can get away without doing two arms. So we're going to go... We're going to go with this one. I'm going to this one and take down uh, only two arms, both legs. There we go. Yeah. Head dies fast, which is fantastic. Get that armor off the torso, finish off the head. Wow. It's taking a little bit longer. That was an awful transition, too. Got it. Woo! Just in the nick of time. So you don't have to kill uh, two of the arm pieces. <clears throat> and that's because of the 50% increase to the HP on the limbs. All right, moving on to 43. We've got Tarot. And we've got 25% increase to affliction damage and 50% torso health increase. Awesome. Uh, we got Fuse with Gas and Swarm. We got Fuse with Prismatic Rift and Swarm. We've got Purifying Blast with Body Focus. Victory March with Clinship Rise, Razor Wind. Totem with Torso. That, <laughs> honestly, that might be our winner. We got Ancestral Favor with Head Focus. Victory March with Haymaker. And Thriving Plague with Him. Yeah, I'm going to go with Deck 5. I feel like it does the job with the extra HP on the Torso. I don't think we need to even bother with the leg. You just take down the Torso and the head. I think there's enough damage with Totem and Moonbeam to to knock off the head. Come on. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I think there's enough damage. I pray that there's enough damage. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Com completely ignore one of those, or that leg that we usually have to take down with Tarot. Good. 43 clear. I'm going to hit another sip of coffee. All right, moving on to 44. We got low jack. Our info is three seconds increase to attack and 80% affliction chance. Okay. Let's look at our decks. We got body with grim. We got ancestral favor, clanship, brush and flak. Ancestral favor, torso focus, armor with limb, victory march with grim, uh, totem with purifying blast, limb focus, and Thriving Plague with Blazing Inferno and Gas. And I think since we've got the Affliction Chance decrease, we're going to go with uh, Clanship Barrage Flak. It, it always, it just seems like the best deck here. We can ignore one of the one of the shoulders too. Typically I go for, or I ignore the higher body parts when I remember to. <laughs> I don't want to say that I always do it because then I'll forget to do it and I'll look like an idiot, which I'm pretty good at doing. Forgetting stuff and looking like an idiot, I mean. I'm sure none of you guys can relate. You're always doing everything perfect, right? That's the feeling I get when I'm on the internet. Got it. Five seconds left over. And moving on. Now, the truth is, uh, people usually do it right. It's just once in a while you do things wrong. And uh, that one time you do it wrong, you remember it a lot easier than the hundreds of times you do it right. Especially when it's on the internet and a hundred people who did it right just a second ago could say, Oh, you did it wrong. 
All right, so for portal number 45, we've got low jack. Our info is 25% increase to limb damage and 15% decrease to burst damage. All right, and our decks are fuse with gas and swarm, ancestral favor with torso, limb with armor, purifying blast with totem, head focus with ancestral favor, victory march with haymaker, thriving plague with blazing inferno and gas, and whip with blazing inferno and prismatic rift. Okay, so burst damage is decreased. We don't want to burst if we can get away with it. I think seven is our winner. What was it again? Limb damage. Okay, yes, definitely. We definitely want deck seven because with the limb damage increase, that just means that they die instantly and we can just really focus down the torso and the head and just kind of get Blazing Inferno to stack on the rest of that part. This is beautiful. Blazing Inferno, you stay on there. Okay, okay. Easy, easy on the hands. Easy. Just a tiny, whiny bit. This is going to go into two decks. I underestimated the amount of damage I had. That's fine. We're, we're pretty high up. We can expect it at this point. We almost got 4 million damage on that anyway. Alright, so to finish this off, we just need a body focus. What do we have? Oh, deck 4. Easy. Deck 4. Totem with Purifying Blast. We'll take down the torso first, like we forgot to do before. And then transition to head. Come on. Beautiful. Love it. There we go. We can move on to portal number 46. We've got Mohaka. Our info is 40% increase to affliction duration. Nice. And 50% decrease to limb health. <clears throat> so Mohaka is a beautiful cycle deck, or er, cycle titan. Uh, fusion bomb with prismatic rift and swarm. Armor with limb. Purifying blast with body. Armor with limb again. Victory march with clanship barrage and razor wind. Torso focus with totem, worthless. Ancestral favor with head focus and thriving plague with grasping vines. So limb health. Oh, limb health is increased. Nice. All right, we're going with deck eight. We don't even have to touch the head. Uh, Mohawk has got such bulky limbs that the 50% will make up for will make up for the head part that we ignore. You just got to make sure to get those legs because they will die a lot slower than the hands. Twice as slow, as a matter of fact. Come on, Thriving Plague, I need you to stack. I need you to stack and be cooperative and not work against me here. There we go. Wow, it almost seemed like we could have done that with only four parts. Oh yeah, I think I remember that being only, instead of, uh, instead of six parts, it's like five or four parts for Mohawkas. Oh well. We, we did it. Either way, it's cleared. On to portal 47. We've got low jack with three seconds added onto our raid and 80% affliction chance. <clears throat> so we want to go for a burst if we can. Oh, look at that. First deck, ancestral favor, clinch of barrage, flak, ancestral favor, torso focus, limb with armor, and uh, victory march with grim, purifying blast with uh, totem. We've got ancestral favor with head focus. We've got... Thriving Plague with Limb Focus, and Whip with Blazing Inferno and Prismatic Rift. Oh, I think you know what I'm going for here. Affliction Chance is decreased, so we're going for Deck 1. Ancestral Favor, Clanship, Barrage, and Flak, and ignoring that shoulder, the last shoulder. Woo! You can tell the Titans are getting bulkier now. It used to be... It used to be the... It would die so fast, but now it's just got work to do. On the upside, though, the limb body parts died pretty quick. That was a good transition. Always love to see it. There we go. Two seconds remaining, and we knocked it out. Almost 5 million damage, 4.78. All right, 47 cleared. I'm going to hit another sip of coffee. getting cold next portal 48 we got tactar our info is 10 percent increase to all support effects and 50 percent decrease to affliction damage okay we got fuse with gas and swarm uh gas with grim and swarm ancestral favor clinch of barrage and flak same thing with skull bash limb with armor head focus with haymaker 
totem with purifying blast and thriving plague with gas and was it affliction damage okay but support effects are increased so i feel like uh either eight oh no no because support effect double is on ancestral favor and gas so yeah it's fine we can go with deck three deck three is a for sure <clears throat> uh support effects are great for Ancestral Favor and Rancid Gas because they are the support cards that have more than one effect, which is fantastic. I don't remember what the... I do think I need to take everything out. I don't remember, though. We'll go ahead and... There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty quick. Um, but yeah, since they have two effects, the support effect increase gives them double uh, buff, which is really nice. So always remember that anytime you have a support buff, it is it counts double for both Ancestral Favor and Rancid Guess. Next portal, 49. We're almost done. Two more. So for 48, we've got, or sorry, for 49, we've got Tactar. Our info is 25% increase to burst chance and 50% increase to head health. Our decks are Ancestral Favor, Torso Focus, Limb with Armor, All Armor, Torso with Totem, Ancestral Favor with Head, Limb Focus, Thriving Plague with Limb Focus, and Thriving Plague General with Blazing Inferno and Gas. Yeah, the burst chance is tempting. Uh, but I don't see a good enough burst deck to do this in one hit. And I kind of think 8 could do it with one hit, but we'll find out. If it doesn't, we'll be alright. Alright, so here we go. Let's get these. I don't think we need to kill all of the limb parts because of the added HP. But since this is a good cycle deck, Titan, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. It just You just get more damage when you do it like this. At some point, the diminishing returns for uh, the buff are just... It's just not worth it going after fewer parts so we did 3.85 million damage we've got two parts left and that should be easy to take down with our purifying blast wait where'd it go i thought for sure i had a purifying blast deck oh well i should have gone for the head armor instead of the torso armor because i got two torso decks oh i i do have one head deck but i don't think it's how much each piece left on the torso so, oh yeah, we can definitely take this down with deck five. So we'll finish off the head and then just polish off the torso. <clears throat> I don't even think we'll have to get like very much on the torso. Maybe a couple little nicks. Yeah. Good. And check my recording real quick. Yeah, still doing good. All right, we can move on to our last portal. Portal 50 is a Juck. Our info is 25% increase to burst chance and 50% increase to head health. Nice. Our decks are Fuse with Gas and Swarm, uh, Body with Grim, Ancestral Favor with Torso, Victory March with Grim, All Armor Focus, uh, Torso Focus with Totem, Victory March with Haymaker, and Whip with Blazing Inferno. Wow. I don't think we're doing this one in one deck. Oh. Hold on. Burst Chance. Head Health. Hmm. I think we could take this down with deck one. We'll give it a shot. If it works, it works. Let's see what we got here. I need to go a little bit faster. I don't have a metronome on me or a taps per second counter. So I just got to kind of feel it out. If I kind of click my teeth together while I'm going around the circle, it helps. Oh, man. Now my mouse is going to run out of battery and not go fast. All right, so we just got... The head and the two legs left. We did four million damage, which is really good. Um, a good amount of damage. <clears throat> Let's see what we got left here. Um, honestly, 
Honestly, I think Victory March does it for us. We just polish it off with Victory March Haymaker and, oh man, no, we don't want that burst to go on the leg. We want to go on this leg. Finish this leg off with tap damage. Move up to the head. Come on, armor. Please go away. Oh well. Well, we couldn't get the burst to hit the body, but it's okay. Now every single burst will hit the body. Wow, why is that not dying fast? <laughs> Please die. Thank you. There we go. We got it. All right. We're all done. We finished. We got all our all our prizes. Fantastic. And we can uh, go back to our options and turn your raid retry back on so that you don't screw up your next uh, raid attack with your clan. And uh, we're good. Let me know in the comments if you were able to use this. I always love seeing comments. I try to make sure to react to all of them and comment on them. Uh, let me know if you have any critiques that you'd like to give me. I'm always happy to hear them and try to do my best to fix any problems. Uh, let me know. Hope you all have a great week. And uh, if you live in the States, happy Memorial Day. If not, don't worry about it at all. Just have a good week. Goodbye.